exhaust is out. Um, real quick, a quick overview how I removed it. Before the DPF, I unbolted it <clears throat> from the downpipe and uh, uh, before I dropped everything, uh, you have six electrical connections to disconnect before you decide to drop any pipe. Uh, you have one on the downpipe, you'll have two at the end of the downpipe, you'll have two more after the DPF, and you'll have one more after the catalytic converter. Uh, <clears throat> as far as uh, the hangers go and that tubing, I just chopped it with the, the cutoff wheel, the death wheel. Uh, the downpipe, you're not getting that out in one piece. That, uh, you have to drop the, uh, <laughs> the transmission cross member if you want to get that out in one piece. Uh, but uh, for sure you don't want to uh, cut off the uh, body side. You don't want to cut the what the uh, OE factory mount is because you will be reutilizing that on the new kit just like this. The muffler, we have a hanger right here and a hanger right here. They both faced that way when they were underneath the truck and on this kit that's where the new muffler goes. So that's removal. Okay, so this is just going to be a quick reminder for everyone. If you have dirty hands while you're working, don't rub your eyeballs. Exhaust is completely out, downpipe and all. Uh, I'm going to go in, eat some dinner, wash my face up, and we'll get kicking 